Now then, welcome back to another episode of Revenge of the Sea Team. Today, I want to play with dinosaurs. Way back at the start of the series, we found this fossils and... What's it called? Fossils and archaeology uh, mod base that we've had all week so far. I think it's... Uh, yeah, end of the first episode. Managed to find this place, done it all up, got some mining done... Gone and got some cactus finally, done a bit of tinkers, we've done a bit of rearranging and organising, we've got some farms going and some bits and pieces. Not bad for the first week, especially at 20 minutes an episode. Um, so today I wanted to do this. This culture vat is a thing that I've been looking for ever since we started. The first stage, the analyzer, we've done that. Analyzer, we've done that. Culture vat is the next thing. The next thing we want. Cult classic I get for it. Awesome. And I get my bucket back. Very good. Very good. All right. So uh, <clears throat> I'm not 100% sure how this works, but doesn't it look like an awesome block? It's kind of... It's kind of glowy and see-through. It's kind of glowy and see-through. That's pretty awesome, isn't it? Right click, see what the GUI says. Okay. So we've got what looks like a DNA strand and something there to do something there, to make something here. Okay. <laughs> Sounds perfect, doesn't it? I reckon it's going to need coal. I think that's the thing. It needs a fuel source. So can we shift click it in there? Yep. Yeah, so fuel source goes in there. Right. And then we need uh, a DNA. What DNA have we got here? We've got all sorts of DNA. What shall it be for my first one? Uh, it's in alphabetical order. An Allosaurus. I don't want something that's going to be a killer. I want something that's going to be... I don't want Velociraptors just yet until I know what I'm doing. Uh, let's see. An Allosaurus. An Allosaurus. Actually, no, because it might go wrong. Pterodon. Sarcosuchus. No, I don't want a Sarco. That'll kill me. Uh, what have I got in here that I've got excess stock of? Mossio. Plesiosaur. That should be okay. Pterodon. Gilemanius, Brachio, no. Ankylosaurus. Why not? Oh, I've got Allosaurus in there, actually. I'll have an Allosaurus then. Fine. I'll do that. Right, so an Allosaurus. Will that just click into there? Will it go into there? Will it go into... Th it goes into there. Okay. Now what does it require? Now it's got the DNA and it's got a fuel supply. Now it needs some kind of biological or bio something or other. And I think these biofossils work. And, uh, yeah, biofossils work. But I've also used all my biofossils up. But I believe from the wiki that it said something about milk working. So let's get a bucket of milk. I believe it's one bucket of milk. Does, should do the whole thing. No? No? I can put milk there. Can I put... No, I can't. I can't. Oh man, what what am I supposed to do with this then? How am I supposed to fuel it? How am I supposed to fuel it? I thought I'd just put coal in one side, milk in the other side, DNA in another. DNA can go in that side. So DNA can go in there, and it can go in there, but it can't go in there. DNA can go in there. DNA can go in there, but it can't go in there for whatever reason. Milk. Oh, it's just it's just filled up. Okay, now fuel. I put milk in, and then fuel goes in. Is that how it works? Oh, yeah, it's... I saw something. I saw something change. Is that working? It seems to be doing something. Anything growing in there yet? No. It sucked up the bucket of milk, and it's got a progression bar. Yes. Okay. So, I figured it, I guess. I don't know if I needed the coal, to be honest, because I, I think I put 27 in there, didn't I? <gasps> oh, look! It's a baby! It's a little tiny baby dinosaur in there! Oh my days, that is a screenshot moment. Can I get a... Can I get a smile? Mm. Ping! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is the moment we've all been waiting for. We've just got to wait for it to go all the way down. I'm guessing mm. that it uses up that biomatter. I'm going to leave the coal in there, and we're going to run this again with maybe another one, just to see what happens. Mm. Uh, and I want to find out if I need the coal in there or not. Or whether the coal's just excess 
requirement. It may be treating the coal like a oh. carbon, fossil, biofuel type. Um, yeah. Oh, so actually, while we're waiting for this, right? While we're waiting for this, which is looking dang awesome. While we're waiting for this, it's it's nowhere near halfway. There's another thing that I want to set up while we're doing that. Uh, and I don't know if I've got everything I need for this. Eh, I think I might be able to manage. I think I might be able to scrape through that one. Yeah, I think I might be able to. Uh, let's get one piece of paper and a crafting table. I don't have any spare crafting tables, do I? No. So let's quickly make a spare crafting table. Okay, crafting table with some paper on the top makes an archaeological workbench. A fixer-upper. Oh, very good. And I think I'll just put that one down there. Yeah, that looks awesome. Okay, is it growing yet? Is it growing yet? Uh, it's still nearly halfway. Okay, this now. This puts stuff in to do stuff and make stuff and fix stuff. I don't know how this works. But I have got a broken ancient helmet. And I've got some pottery shards. Mm. So, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna give it a go. I don't know what I need to put in with them, but still. Mm. Does that go in there? Okay, so that goes in that slot. It goes... It does go in that slot. Is there a recipe button anywhere? No. That slot seems to be the slot, though, doesn't it? Because if this is anything to go by, that's the input, that's the output, and that's the fuel. So, input, output, fuel. What fuel do I'm going to use? Let's take some of that. Uh, we're going to... We're going to take all but 10. So it's a nice round number to remember a bit by. I can put those 17 in there. And then, is it going to do something with this? Do I need to put something else in? Is there something I've got to put in it? Um, I really wish that this would, like, tell me. Can I, no, can I shift click with the book? On anything? No, I'm not sure what the book is used for. Man, the book doesn't do anything. I'm not sure what it does. Mm. But, uh, yeah, we're nearly there with that one. And this is not doing anything, is it? Broken pottery shards. That can go in there. Yeah. I wonder what I have to mix with that to make that work. I wonder what I need to mix. I mean, these are all the things you get. Uh, relic scraps? Relic scraps. It does sound like it might need a relic scrap, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, that lit up. Oh, yes, and that is now going... So, this is a broken relic, and these are scraps of relics. I used to repair the broken relics. That's clever. I like that. And then when this is finished hammering, it uses one of the pieces up, and the progress bar's only moved at one. Uh, huh. I don't know if I like the sound of that. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to have enough. Was that one... Two. Progress bar is progressing. Okay, that's cool. This is nearly finished. We've nearly got a full dino. Come on, baby. Come on, be my baby dinosaur. My first dinosaur in this. I know this isn't Ark Survival Evolved, but this is fossils and archaeology. And I'm looking forward to stuff working. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to have enough there. Come on. Have I got some more in here? Uh, no, I haven't got any more scraps in there. Nearly done, nearly done. It's almost out of fuel as well. So, yeah, one bucket of milk does the trick. Culture vat, do your thing. And please be enough. That might be enough. It's nearly halfway. We might be good. Have I got any more? Have I got any more scraps? I've got some more biofossils and plant fossils. I've got stuff, but I don't think any of it's going to repair this relic any faster. Oh. Oh, it's disappeared. It's done. It's done. What have we got? An Allosaurus egg. Okay. Oh, what species is this? I just got an achievement get. Awesome. Okay. And uh, it didn't use any coal by the looks of it. Okay. And this is nearly complete. I think this will actually work. So let's put the biofossils in there so that biofossils can come through into this and make some more of those scraps maybe. Uh, so I don't think it used any coal, so we'll leave that out. And this didn't seem to use any coal either, but it's very close to completion. That's nice. I like. So an Allosaurus. Um, I don't know if that's going to kill me or not, really. So I'm going to have a little sleep. If it can't kill me, it can only make me stronger, right? Is that a thing? That's not quite the right meaning of the saying, is it? But still. Uh, it's nearly there. It's nearly there. And then we're going to have a funky ancient helmet. 
non-broken, hopefully, because I'm using all these relic scraps up on it. It looks like I'm just going to get away with it, doesn't it? It looks like I've just got enough. An ancient helmet. Uh, matter non. Ooh, thinking cap. I got a thinking cap on. Okay, so at the minute, my armor is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and a half. Take the iron helmet off, and it becomes six and a half. Put the ancient helmet on, which has the same durability as an iron helmet. Boom. And it becomes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and a half. So it's the same as an iron helmet in respect of durability and in respect of the armor. But it's given me a kind of a, a heads up where it's like hanging over my head slightly. And uh, it looks pretty dang cool, doesn't it? Uh, I've still got that brain sticking out. Uh, is it? Oh, I think it's an, a, like an Anubis cap. Like a, a, yeah, like a strange desert dog cap. Well, maybe that's just me. I don't know. But that looks cool. I like that. So, uh, yeah, I should have enchanted this instead of that. But I didn't know I was going to get it. Never mind. Mm. Hey. So we've done that. We've done that. That's cool. Now, is that shadow going to affect me? Look, look at the shadow at the top of the screen. I think that shadow is going to be annoying, to be honest. Uh, if I could get rid of it, I would. Yeah, that's a bit better. All right, so uh, let's put that in the equipment chest. I don't know if I can mount these sort of things up on the wall somewhere, but still. I'll put that in the equipment over here. That'll do. And now the wind is blowing. It's snowing outside or raining outside. Yeah, it's snowing out. And the snow's coming through my house. I'm that secure. I'm so secure. All right, so we're going to plant this Allosaurus. We're going to plant this Allosaurus or what? Okay, so I want to do... I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I could burst. I want to do something with this mod that we looked at the other day just to make sure that we get this right. There's a wooden pen, an iron pen, or a nether brick pen. An iron pen is just a set of iron bars. Okay. Yeah. Can I do iron bars? I believe I can. Yes, I'm going to do two sets of iron bars because I think it's going to need to get bigger. So we'll do one iron pen, which cost me eight iron bars. Okay, let's go and make a pen for this dinosaur out here. So it doesn't run away and it doesn't kill me and we'll see if it's any good for anything. You see all my wheat and all that? I, I came and got all my sugar cane the other day just to get rid of it. And now I've got a stock of everything. i got melons and pumpkins grown good law and all the wheat's grown and everything's growing back over. But I don't care about all that. I don't care about all that at all. I'm going to get up over here into the, the more central part of the mushroom biome, well away from where mobs can spawn. And I'm going to place this uh, pen up here. I don't know how exactly it's going to look but we will soon see. Let's put it here. And I know it goes that direction, so click. Oh, wow. Awesome. Uh, some cow hurt himself doing that, but still. That's given me quite a lot more than eight iron bars in it. So, so cheaty. I'm just going to go around and uh, upgrade. Dude, really? Get out of it. <laughs> Dude, get out of it. Thank you. Um, and I... I think this is probably all going to turn into mycelium as well, isn't it? Yeah. But I, I don't even know if I'm going to need another, like, cage up for it. I'll just... Oh, man. I'm just going to... I'm just going to do it and see what happens. Okay. So now the fossil egg is there. Is it going to move? Is it going to do anything? Do I... Oh, maybe that's what the book's for. Yes, maybe that's what the book's for. Look, cows... Move! 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 Get out of it. Literally, move! Right, I want to get that other fossil book because I think you can click these eggs to see how far along it is. I know you've got to click something with that book. That book's going to have some use, hasn't it? Okay, so, can I click on you? Status, yes. Allosaurus, status warm. Progress, 50% nearly. Yeah, 50%. Uh, cool, so the book right click and it does something the book does something people the book does something finally 57 percent. we've just got to wait now though all right i'm gonna cut back when it's done this is a moment we've all been waiting for two 
One. Zero. Oh, there it is. Achievement get. De-extinction. Dinosaur is hatched out of an egg. And there's a wonderful, wonderful sound being played. Uh, yeah, it's going to run around. Yeah, it's going to go. What's it after? Where are you going? I knew I should have made it bigger. Hey, you. Can I... I can click on you. Untamed order bone. Okay, it wants bone. It wants bone. Is that what it wants? Oh, man, I should have. Oh, I should have made this cage bigger. I knew I should have made this cage bigger. Let's go and get a bone quick. And then we've got to get back to it fast before I lose it. I've got. Pff, ah, I need to tame it. That's another thing you see. Another another little detail that I didn't really know about. Um, but we're learning, we're learning, and we're having fun, and it's the end of the first week, it's the end of today's episode. I am going to let it run on just a little bit longer though, I don't know exactly how long I'll be recording, but it feels like a little bit longer than I should have been. Okay, and bone? Have a bone, Have a bo get back in there, yeah, that's a good idea. Can you have a bone? No? Untamed order bone, how do I give you a bone? Have a bone. Have a bone! <laughs> Okay, don't don't shout at me. Have a bone. Here, do you want this bone? Have a bone. Have a bone. Have a bone. Have a bone. Come and get a bone. Come and get a bone. Okay, what? It will eat all sorts of things? Is that what that's saying? Um, untamed order bone. Order bone, that's what I... Is it ordering a bone? It doesn't look like it's ordering a bone. I'm going to have to find out how to tame these things up. I'm also going to have to set this up so that it can't escape. Uh, but that is all we've got time for. Let's see if we can get him in the final shot. Hey, dude, Aliosaurus, have a, have, a, have a go at this, eh? Now then, that is all we've got time for. Thank you very, very much for watching another episode of Revenge of the Sea Team. Hopefully I can figure out these dinosaurs next week. And also check out some of the other crazy, exotic strange, amazing and broken mods in this Revenge of the Sea Team pack. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye. Mm -hmm.